Holy, there's a group of people coming to kill all of us right now. First time I got woken up by workers. Frightening. <laughs> Racked back my people rifle, just started just scoping in on people. Kevlar, Kevlar all over the place. I got discharged for having PTSD. A lot of anger. The kind of anger where somebody does something stupid on the freeway and you want to chase them down. It's all because of everything I went through. Yeah, I was just a really just happy kid. I had a goal to be like that again. And that's when I started to actually want to go to therapy to try to get that back. <sighs> when we kind of ignite the memory, we are not in those memories. We are just kind of looking at them from a distance. Uh, as always, you're in control of this. The number of veterans that are needing help and the amount of people that are available to take care of them has just not been sufficient. What comes up for you when you think of that memory? Helplessness. There was nothing anyone could do to help anybody. Uh, it's like the feeling of driving through a freaking dust storm. When we're talking about post-traumatic stress disorder, essentially what's happening in our body is a fight-flight-freeze response. Folks that are experiencing PTSD are constantly in that level of survival. Yes. The word carnage comes into mind. Straight up anger. I've had people in my sights before. We were just on edge. Hold on. We want to have a foot in the present at all times. What we don't want folks to do when we're talking about traumatic memory is to get consumed by those memories and feel like they're reliving them. Okay, great. We want them in the present, and that's essential to uh, doing this work. And we use tactile therapy in somebody's hands as a way of keeping them present. If people uh, live many years with untreated PTSD, they're more likely to develop heart disease, stroke, so it's, it's a very risky business to not seek treatment for PTSD in terms of long-term health consequences. Having PTSD, it's not just a symptom, it's all-encompassing, and it's, it comes at you from every corner all the time, so you have to build the skills to hold things back until you can find a way to turn them around and push them the other direction. We are victims of our traumatic experience. Nobody chooses it. Uh, even if choices led us there, nobody chooses to be traumatized. Deep breath. Job. You know, you started with that word helpless and you moved into control. Just notice that. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. a good evolution. I'm seeing him believe that he's capable, believing that he can do it. Uh, his life has shifted. He uh, has gotten married. It means so much to not have the person you love think they're a failure <laughs> because of something that they can't control. I don't think I would have been able to handle anything without seeing Ryan and going to Sharp. Yeah, it definitely saved my life. Seeing Brandon really start living and being able to feel like he can leave therapy, how can he not smile about that? It's amazing what this has done for him. <laughs> I'll say, knowing that you can beat PTSD, it's, it's powerful. Begin your SHARP experience by choosing a doctor. Call 1-800-82-SHARP or visit SHARP.com.